Making money like a mint Laying in my eyes like shrimp Mint condition that I'm in Coming with the freshness Should you guys get more bun? Should I have more bun in the shot? Uh, this is a big ass bun. We'll be here all day. Hey, hey YouTube, it's me, Christiana. I'm back with another video. I saw a get to know me video and I wanted to do one. It's been years, so let's get after it. Number one, what is your favorite TV show? You would have thought I would actually have looked through these really good before I got on here. No, of all time, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones was the best piece of art I have ever seen in my life. Ever seen in my life. Minus season eight. I also watch a lot of Law and Order. I'm, listen, I'm a granny. I spend a lot of time watching the news, unfortunately. So I don't know if I have like a real current favorite show, but there are definitely a couple of shows I think I enjoy. Where is your favorite place you have ever traveled? I unfortunately like have only really been a handful of places before. Um, the furthest I ever went was Cuba. I went to Cuba three summers ago now. And that was an experience of a lifetime. Uh, I would love to go back. Go back when it's less hot. I went in the summertime and I've never experienced heat of that level in my life, but I would face it all again if I could just go back. Number three, what are your current hobbies? So everybody knows I sew. I had to put the sewing down really just like to cleanse myself, um, to get a reset because I am closing down my handmade shop and that is kind of like an emotional roller coaster for me personally. But I would normally say sewing. Number four, what do you look for in a friend? So I don't really be looking for friends. I, I'm kind of a stubborn mule in that way. I kind of like have the friends that I have and I'm really naturally reluctant to make more friends. Um, but on the rare occasion that I let someone into the circle of trust, uh, they have to be trustworthy. I think that's really, really big on me is like, I, I have to be able to tell you stuff and not have it come back to me from other people. I also have to have people in my life who understand the kind of person that I am and don't hold it against me. Um, like being able to adapt to who I am as a person um, without making me feel like I need to change or adjust for you. Number five, what habits do you wish you didn't have? I wish I was more organized. More organized. Six, what are you passionate about? Social justice, workers rights, things of that nature really get me going. Seven, is there a book that has changed your life? Y'all gonna laugh at me. <laughs> I love the Twilight Saga, all of it, all of it. If you haven't seen my book review on Midnight Sun, go check it out. Number eight, do you have a hidden talent? No. Number nine, describe your perfect day. A day where nobody fucking bothers me? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I would naturally want like the perfect day to be romantic, maybe. Um, I've had some perfect days though that weren't romantic, but if I could decide, maybe it would be. Number 10, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Probably like an invisibility, like can I have a, like an invisibility cloak or like can I just be, like be able to blend in, like into things, camouflage? Yeah, something like that I think would be really convenient, you know? If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm just like a super duper duper introvert. It's so bad. 11, what makes you laugh the hardest? Everything, everything. I laugh so much y'all. I laugh by myself, like I make myself laugh. I just be in here laughing alone. 12, who has influenced your life the most? Ooh. I don't know if I could give that to one person. I don't know if I can give that to one person because I've had a very large journey. Cause at first when I, when I thought of the question, 
I went all the way back to high school. My English teacher, my senior year, who said I would be nothing in life and I wouldn't be able to get by on my looks forever. Um, and she like failed me because she didn't like my opinions. Not that I didn't do my work, but that she didn't like me while people slept in her class. And you know, I, I'm getting on with it. But like, at first I thought of her because there were several moments throughout the years of my life that I think back on her saying that I was going to be nothing. Meanwhile, she's still there, like at the school, probably telling more young black women that they're going to be nothing. I digress, but definitely there's been a lot of people who have affected my life. So I don't know if I, I can really give that to one person. What is your dream job? So my whole life, I always thought I would be like a fashion model or a fashion designer or a fashion like buyer. I always thought I'd be in New York by now, like like being a big fashion bitch, like Kelly Catrone, something like, um, and that would still be cool, but also I'm almost 30. So what movie could you watch over and over? I've seen a lot of movies over and over. Um, this is like kind of like a lame question, I think. Um, but my like, I don't even want to say like a strong top five, but a lot of my favorite movies are children's movies. My favorite movie of all time is The Wizard of Oz. Um, I like Beetlejuice. I like Pee Wee, uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I like The Sound of Music. I, I like a lot of different movies and I've seen a ton of movies a billion times. <laughs> what is your Enneagram? Enneagram? I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't I don't know. I've been meaning to like get into that kind of stuff but I, I don't know. How many places have you lived? My family moved around a lot as a, like when I was a kid. Like at one point we were moving once a year. On my own since becoming an adult I think I've moved about six or times six or seven times. 17 what was the best concert you've ever been to i've been to a lot of really good concerts i've been to made in america here in philly a couple times i've been to a lot of really good shows logic came to camden a couple of years back and my brother and i went now one thing about my brother i have a younger brother he's about five and a half years younger than me and he it's kind of the mopey type. He's a little bit like Eeyore. I <laughs> remember Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. He's a little bit of a mopey type. Um, but we went to the concert together because that's uh, an artist that we share a common interest. And he was so happy to be there. Like the, the concert itself was popping, but just to see how happy my brother was, um, just to be there and to be feeling the energy of the concert, I feel like was an unforgettable moment for me. Where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully alive. We got a lot going on right now. I'm just gonna say hopefully I'm alive in five years. I hope you're alive in five years. 19. What is your favorite food? I love sushi. I love sushi so much. 20. Last question. What is your most treasured personal item? My grandma died um, quite a few years ago. And before she died, she kind of went through this phase of like giving things away, which in retrospect, like I was a kid at the time, um, but in retrospect, I now realize that that's because she was going to die and she knew that. But after she passed away, um, there were also more things that I was able to keep for myself, uh, like her mirror. She had a mirror in her living room that nobody was really thinking about. And so I was able to hold on to it and I've had it since she died. And I've moved a ton of places and I've brought the mirror with me. 
Um, unfortunately, some of the moves were rougher than other moves. And so like it used to be on a swivel, like the mirror, it was, it's a long mirror and it used to be on a swivel. And then I like lost the pieces during some moves, and, but I still have the mirror. And so it's still very special to me. And I keep it downstairs in my living room. If you watch my vlogs, you've seen the mirror already. It's a wooden mirror and I love it so much. And it was my grandma's. Okay, so that was a quick little get to know me video. Um, if you have more questions, maybe I can answer some from you guys. So leave those down in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye.